here. You're blowing your opportunity. You only have six hours left. You said you was working. We are too. Let's see how bad you want it. Dante's Boxing Nation, what's going on, guys? So that was a small clip that Devin Haney put up of him training, hitting the heavy bag. Obviously, from that small clip, they don't want to show too much. I would really like to see a piece of Devin Haney sparring. I've been watching Devin Haney fight and even spar since he moved to Las Vegas. Coincidentally, the Haney's, they moved to Las Vegas around the same time that I moved to Las Vegas from California. With that being said, Devin Haney's return to the ring is going to be highly anticipated, mainly due to curiosity. How is he going to look? How is he going to bounce back? Will he mentally and physically be the same fighter? Boxing is a sport that is 80% mental. I mean, it's kind of like doing a backflip. Anybody can actually do a backflip, but the majority of people mentally, they're afraid to do it because you're afraid you're going to break your neck. You worry about landing on your face, which is why the majority of people don't have the confidence to do it. And then you have the people who knew how to do a backflip, but one day they end up landing on their face and never tried to do a backflip again. Or maybe they tried to do it again, but they could never do it right because the fear of landing on their face is stuck in their head. So we're going to find out soon if Devin Haney can still do a backflip. Does he still have the same confidence to pull it off? You know, when it came to Gerald Big Baby Miller fighting against Andy Ruiz on the Crawford versus Madrimoff undercard, that was one of the fights I was really looking forward to. Because you have Big Baby Miller, a fighter who is known for just throwing 100 punches, constantly applying pressure, and he never stops throwing punches until his opponent quits. So I wanted to really see how is Andy going to be able to deal with a fighter like that. But it turned out Big Baby Miller, he was no longer the same fighter. He no longer was a volume puncher. He was extremely hesitant to even let his hands go. And that was due to his knockout loss to Daniel Dubois. And this is what I mean when I say a lot of fighters are no longer the same after they take an L. But the difference from Big Baby Miller and Devin Haney is when Miller was fighting against Dubois, he wasn't getting punched in the head by a guy on steroids, which is why Ryan Garcia is getting sued. Money, it's, it's definitely a money grab. He really thought that uh, what he was doing was going to... Uh, what he's doing is going to get him more money. I mean, that's basically what it is. Um, just a rich mo boy. It, 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 it's just, it, it's just more nonsense for me to deal that's with. That's facts. Like, that's what it is. It's just more nonsense. I mean, I don't know why he's dragging this out so much. I, I don't know who his legal counsel is, but I guess that I never took this intentionally. So at the end of the day, it's going to work to mark towards my favor. Because I never took this intentionally. So I'm actually going to get approved my innocence. So I'm really, he's going to take two L's. One in the courtroom and one in the ring. So I'm not really worried about this. Let me tell you guys about Issa Israel Law Firm. It is a full-service legal practice based in Denver, Colorado, an emerging hub for combat sports and high-altitude training. If you're a fighter inside or outside of the ring and you need a law firm you can trust to fight for you, visit thefighterfirm.com or email help at iilawfirm.com. Legal representation is usually limited to plaintiffs and defendants in Colorado, but iFirm can help anyone in the world with trademarking their business name, logos, and U.S. immigration issues. This brother has been my attorney for a while and helped guide me through all kinds of business and civil issues, so make sure you guys go to thefighterfirm.com. All right, now check this out, guys. If you're looking to repair eczema scars, burns and bruises, dark spots and blemishes, the fever blisters, diabetic ulcers, this right here is the perfect product for you guys. It's called L.O. Dekey Face and Body Oil. Athletes and top-ranking boxers, they're also using it after training to reduce swelling, inflammation, and to ease the pain. So get yours today. Go to lodekey.com. Like them on Facebook and follow them on Instagram.